everybody it's Valerie Ling here coming to you live from uh, from home just as I am in gym gear and uh, nothing on my face because something came up today and I thought it would give me an authentic post to actually share with you what I call the skateboard approach the skateboard approach meaning going away from having a really rigid way of managing your diary and remaining flexible and adaptable to what might come uh, into your window pane. Uh, the importance actually of really having some buffer in your diary. So I practice something called a static diary, which is something where where you know sort of you 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 chunk down the the your you, the things that you need to work on in your in your week throughout the day, but you also put the green things. Green things meaning the non-negotiables. And I had a beautiful day planned out for myself today. And um, I did a brain dump last night. So last night before I clocked off, I basically on this whiteboard did a brain dump of what the day needed to happen. It's a combination of some non-negotiables um, that is in my static diary that just happens on a Wednesday, as well as a green zone, which is a gym. And then I was satisfied that I knew what to expect the next day and I just followed through with it. So the plan was, the original plan, I don't know if you can see it, was um, at 6.30 I was going to go to the gym. At 9 o'clock I was going to hop on to a Zoom appointment. Now, assume that I'm doing other things like having breakfast and doing my devotions and things like that. 6.30 gym, 9 o'clock Zoom appointment, 11 o'clock, that's fixed in my diary. Hello to whoever is watching. 11 o'clock is fixed in my diary once a month on a Wednesday. I write a practice newsletter um, that should have hit your inbox. Look out for it if you are subscribed. Then at 12 o'clock, I was going to attend to the practice matters, uh, emails, uh, send out a communication to the team, problem solve anything operational that is that needs my attention. One o'clock, I was going to have lunch. And then two o'clock, I was meant to be at the practice is onboarding one of our newer associates, David Blythe, who is uh, settling in fantastically, but I've got it on my agenda for the rest of the month to be in the practice on a Wednesday, uh, to just onboard and be around to provide a, a, a stable space if anything needs uh, to be figured out while he's there. And then as is my normal practice, I try to actually finish up my day when uh, school time finishes three o'clock, pick up the groceries that are required for the rest of the week that we missed out from our online shop and then go home. That was my brilliant plan. Now, when I woke up this morning, um, I have been to the gym at 6.30. It is not my preferred time to go. I have put that in as a 6.30 start, really when, there's, when I feel like there's no choice and I have to do things a little bit out of routine because I've got some other things fixed in. And because I wanted to get through my day, I decided that the gym had to be at 6.30 a.m. However, when I woke up this morning, I just did not feel like going to the gym at 6.30 in the morning. I decided that I was going to skateboard my way through my day and revisited my plan. And so listened into some intuitive cues. It's still a non-negotiable. It's still going to happen. So the gym was going to get swapped around to here. I was going to swap around my gym to 12 o'clock and then skateboard my way around by putting these two things up here, 7 a.m. and then everything else goes the same. However, um, that was my plan, the skate, the modified plan. However, I realized that at 12 o'clock um, something came up, uh, something very important came up. It required me to actually tune into a particular situation and be present and um, really be there for that for that uh, particular situation which I don't want to talk about and so um, in my head I did a recalculation of my slots they are color-coded in my brain because I see them as chunks and discovered that okay I'm actually going to swap a room some more slots around and actually um, not head to the gym at 12 o'clock. I'll see if I can actually move um, this up now and then go to the gym at um, 3 p.m. Had to move. So 
I thought I would just provide you with uh, an a, a, a authentic post just to say sometimes things don't go according to plan. Uh, we have to engage in some adaptive thinking. As long as we know what the non-negotiables are in our diary, as long as we know what those chunks look like and we have enough buffer space in our day. Hey, Benny from, the Phil from Vietnam, I think. Greetings. Uh, try not to pack your day full with things, everything into every hour and every minute of the day. Try not to have lots of things which are reactive either, which are unplanned, unscheduled, that doesn't come from somewhere goal directed uh, and, and you're just plonking things in because life does happen and you want to be able to have the ability to actually say okay there are maximum three or four chunks in my day in terms of all the things I attend to maximum whatever that is for you and in your head you cannot do a bit of a Tetris thing and you can't just swap them and shift around and the most important thing is then to just have self-compassion we don't have to get into a frenzy or into a headspace which goes, oh no, things are not going according to plan. We can just say that the old swapperoo is going to be what needs to happen for today. And with that, I will now have to go to my two o'clock onboarding. So I'll see you later. Bye, Penny.